The DV Builder is where you're going to spend majority of your time designing and customizing your website. So understanding how it works is very, very important. So let me show you a quick trick. So if I come over here and click on this plus button, I can choose my module. So let's say I want to choose a text module. I can do that. And now it has been added. So this mode that I'm working in is called the hover mode. So this is by default. But you start having problems, for example, when you go in and try to add another module in here. So you can see sometimes you have to be very precise to choose um, where to add your module. And sometimes these overlap. Uh, in this example, I wasn't uh, very good at aligning these to make sure that um, they are overlapping. So sometimes it does happen or well, what I'm designing. And I'm sure some of you have come across this problem. So here's the thing. The solution is you want to come back over here to your builder options. So you click on these three little dots here on the bottom left. And then you want to come all the way to the top here. So you can see these different styles are all grayed out. So what you want to do is to click and activate them like that. So here's what happens. So let's say now... I want to design this and I really want to see the different modes. What you do is you can click here on this one. So this one here is called grid mode. So when you select it, it shows you pretty much everything on your page that you are designing. So I can see that over here. Everything is highlighted. I can see where everything is. So this could be an option where you want to see exactly what you're building. So let's say, for example, I click on this plus button. I add my uh, two modules here. So in this one here, I'm going to add a blurb. And uh, let's say in the other one, let's just save this. And let's say in the other one here, we're also going to add, say, a, um, what can we add? Um, all right, let's add an image. All right, so we have an image in there. Let me see if I have something in my media library. Hopefully I should have something. And do we have something? Looks like we don't have anything. Anyway, that's fine. Let's close out of here. This is a brand new website. So if I, every time I close out of here, notice what happens. I am now going to see where exactly everything is. So if I want to come in here and add another module, I can just click on this plus button easily. Choose text. Add my text in here. And pretty much I am good to go. Now, Sometimes this can be pretty much too messy. You can see now as I'm looking at this, there's so much going on. But you want to activate this in situations where you can't see where your modules are or modules are overlapping. So it pretty much shows you everything, even the, the padding over here. So you can just quickly go in here and reduce that if you need to or increase that if you need to. Okay, so here's the thing. If you want to choose click mode, you can come over here and select click mode. This is slightly different, but I'm sure from the name, you can tell what it does. So what you do now is when you use click mode, you hover over the item that you want to work with. So if I say, for example, hover over here, you can see this is very minimal. When I click, this is where all my settings come in. And this is only activated on this particular item. So now I can go into my settings and continue working. If I come over here again, I can hover, click. And you can see here, this has been highlighted, which is fantastic. So this is a very, very good mode. Finally, we have our hover mode, which is what we are normally accustomed to. So the good thing is we can use these modes here to activate and deactivate as we're building our website. Let me know, guys, what you think about this tip. If you have any comments, leave them in the comments box below. Until next time, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.